Hey guys, welcome back. Mark here from Sea World Earth, and today we're going to be doing awesome, awesome smoke photography. Now, this is part of my pandemic pixels um, playlist idea, uh, trying to give um, give out ideas for creative photography projects that you can do at home uh, whilst we're all locked down and and told not to go anywhere. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it. You only need a few small items, okay? And they are for the flash. I'm going to be using my AD200 from Godox, okay? Um, and on that I'm going to be using just the regular diffused light head here um, but in order to make that or to enhance the performance of that I'm going to be using a conjunction of two things first off these uh, barn doors okay and secondly this comes actually with a with it, one of the kit options you can get um, I'm going to be putting this uh, honeycomb in there and this is to um, just really direct the light directly onto my uh, rising column of smoke that just sits in there there we go that sits in there like that and then just to just uh, be really really specific on the smoke i can also then just close in what are called these barn doors okay and then that that, that creates that almost letterbox like area where only the light's going to flash out through there so that will be pointing down onto the column of smoke as it hopefully rises up towards that. Very cool. Um, to A or to trigger the flash I'm using the X1T stroke C. Um, that is for the Canon. Uh, just a wireless trigger. Okay. Um, just to help with the setting all of the getting the camera completely perpendicular to the smoke and level. I've got one of these that sits into the hot shoe of normally in the camera but in this case it will be in the trigger because the trigger will be on the camera uh, just a, an adapter plate to go to to screw onto the uh, flash a lighter yippee um, don't forget folks keep out the way of kids please make sure you have safety equipment at hand okay uh, current ready to go you never know just in case this is what I'm going to be using as to aid with my focusing. So this I'm going to just clip that to my uh, to a, to a camera uh, rig that I've got or to a camera cage that I've got as the anchor point. And then in the other end, I'm just going to have this uh, pencil in there like that. Ooh, hold on, in there like that, and then that will act as my pointer for the smoke. So I'll line the smoke up exactly to where the, the pin, the pinpoint of the, or the lead of the pencil is. And then hopefully I won't waste too much time with the, uh, with the focusing. All good to go. We have some Sakura incense sticks. Now Sakura uh, in Japanese is the um, cherry blossom. So if nothing else, my studio is going to be smelling very, very nice. Now the reason also that I've got my uh, I've, I've got this homemade snoot for the L LED lights that's just going to go fit over there and I'm going to use that I'm going to turn that on there you go you can see that that's turned on and this is going to be illuminating the area of where the smoke is that I'm interested in photographing all right uh, and with the focus set here hopefully it will just be a matter of waiting until I see not looking through the eyepiece but just watching from the side, seeing when there's an interesting uh, pattern of smoke and then just firing away. Now to hold the uh, incense sticks in place, I've got this little uh, weighted crocodile clip here. So this will just sit on the, on the ground or on the desk um, and this will just clamp around the, the base of the incense sticks and it will just make sure that they stays in the same area. And even so, I mean, what I'd sometimes do is I'll get the base and I'll just move it around a little bit and that just makes the smoke go uh, crazy in the columns. Um, it's just a handy little tool to have, not just for smoke photography, but other kinds of macro photography as well. I'm going to be shooting as normal on my trusted Canon EOS 5DSR. For macro photography, fantastic. 50.6 uh, megapixels of awesomeness. Um, and again, fitted with my uh, Tamron 90 millimeter f 2.8 macro, fantastic piece of lens, uh, piece of glass. Setting settings wise, I'm going to be starting out at about um, ISO 100, f 8, and my shutter speed. Hold on, 
Yep, my, sorry, ISO 125, uh, F8 for one one hundred and twenty-fifth of a second. Okay, now with this flash, I can go to high speed sync, but I'm obviously not going to need to do that um, with, with smoke photography. To begin with, we're going to be set at portrait orientation, trying to get this vertical area of smoke here. To get things, one thing I, what I will mention is to get the, the camera as perpendicular as possible because working at such a close distance to the smoke, you don't want the camera to be at an angle because you may get some out of focus areas. If you want to try and get the focal plane as flat as possible, so that vertical rising smoke, you get as much of it in focus as possible. I've employed the use of a funky little uh, spirit level that just fits into the hot shoe, either of my camera, or in this case, into the trigger um, for the Godox flash that is up here. Okay, so that just sat in there. Now I know I'm, I'm perpendicular, so all we need to do now is get shooting. I'm on um, f5.6 ISO 160 and uh, shutter speed of 1 100th uh, and on the flash I'm on 1 8th power. Starting to get some really nice shots so I'm going to carry on taking some photos and uh, after that we'll get into post and we'll see exactly where all this goes and I, I'll tell you now it can be absolutely mind-bending. Good stuff. And every now and again what I'll do is I'll just tap the table and those vibrations are enough to make the, the smoke do lots of weird and wonderful twists and turns and it, it uh, gets some pretty nice results. And if it's erring over to one side too much you can just simply move a little bit the smoke, wait for it to come back I've got my point of focus just above the, the marker pen there and it's looking pretty special. You see I don't need to look I don't need to look through the eyepiece I know exactly where my focus point is right there and so whenever whenever I see the smoke doing something cool I just take a shot. Well here we are in Lightroom folks and I'm going to go through this uh, rather quickly um, because you'll see you'll get the gist of it and then basically it's, it's down to yourselves with regards to how crazy you want to take this. Um, okay well, I've imported, I've uh, already imported the images that I found pleasing enough uh, for my eye and you'll see all of the intricate shapes and swirls and forms and, uh, and, and ideas that you have uh, with these crazy shapes from the outset okay um, and what I've further done is I've created a selection a short list of selection here uh, of different images that I'm potentially interested in working with uh, and what you'll notice straight away um, is that some of them like this one they seem to have a different aesthetic than others so if you look at the color and the darkness of this one compared to this one you'll see that there's quite a bit of a difference uh, and the reason being that I've done one thing to make editing a lot simpler is once I've edited the image uh, and I've got it to a point that I like or the aesthetic it looks how, I, how I'm happy with it looking um, what I do is I'll create a preset and the way that I do that quite simply is by coming up to um, uh, in the develop mode okay you've got your image here in your develop mode so you come up to develop and then you've got here new preset and all you simply do is click on that give your preset a name okay and then hold it or put it into the group the way you want to store it um, in this instance is in my user presets down here uh, and this I created and called it smoke with 90 Tamron and you can see I've done some others here as well All right um, and so once we get to an image um, like this one for example that hasn't been edited yet I can simply then just click down here and it will adopt the aesthetic of the image of the previous image of the previous edit from which I made a preset. One other thing that you'll notice in some of the images as well uh, is you get these little white spots like this. Now these are not dead pixels. Uh, what I believe they are are very tiny microscopic elements of uh, ash that are floating up from the uh, incense sticks uh, and they get illuminated by the flash. These are very quickly eliminated uh, by using the spot removal tool okay 
and then you can go you can sit once you expand your image you can see many 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 of these little things so it's just a matter of uh, tidying them up going as crazy as you like um, but because uh, this is just a demonstration I'm just going to do those few just to show you how to remove them okay that's awesome that's cleared up in this particular shot but I'm actually going to be working with a different image okay well let's edit this one and let's work with this one okay so let's just go into the Tamron mode into the Tamron edit there we go I'm not going to bother with cleaning up the dots you've seen me how I've done that before so let's now just go photo edit in uh, Adobe Photoshop 2020 and here we are in Photoshop and um, with that image okay all I'm going to do very quickly is I'm just going to crop it um, I feel like I'm going to crop the image let's go ahead and crop it I'm just going to crop it around about here oh, let's get that line there okay cool let's uh, crop it about there let's go uh, image crop okay and all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this select all edit copy and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file and because I've just created this file here what the new file dimensions are going to be exactly the same as uh, the file that I've just uh, um, copied but what I want to do is have it twice the width okay so all I need to do is double this figure here and that is 9230 okay let's put it at 72 dpi just save my poor computer's heart there we go and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that image there we go and I'm going to drag this over to the left hand side of the canvas I'm going to paste it again and this time I'm going to uh, flip it so transform and flip horizontally and all I'm going to do is drag that over to this side of the folder go in by one nudge on each side and there we have a really crazy intricate little design that can be whatever you want it to be now you'll find uh, on some of these edits that you can come up with some really weird and wonderful um, designs uh, some of which just look <laughs> creepily, creepishly like uh, people or aliens uh, depending on your state of mind at the time of the edit um, but it can get crazy and uh, it's, it's all a whole bunch of fun just to create awesome um, and intricate files like this and then again you can get even crazier you can take you can copy all of this flip it on its side create another canvas twice as wide and then you've got you can just keep going forever and ever um, the possibilities are endless as they say all I'm then going to do is just merge all of the visible files going to unlock it and then or oh, just tidy up the edges I'm just going to crop this out there we go get rid of that little white bit on the edge image crop there we go boom and there we go and I'm going to go ahead and tidy up these other dots and, and uh, bits and pieces on here now uh, and I will also edit a few more shots and I will bring those to you at the end of the video there we go how much fun was that as you've seen smoke photography can be a whole barrel of laughs not just for the setting up and for the photographing uh, but also when it comes to the edit uh, and you know just keep on shooting and I'm sure every now and again by pure accident you'll come across one of these crazy designs that will just blow your mind i want to say a big thank you thank you for your patronage thank you for watching my content uh, if, if you haven't already please do subscribe hit the little notifications bell down there and you'll be updated as and when new content is available from yours truly um, and all that remains on top of that please do stay well stay healthy look after your friends your family and your loved ones and uh, when all of this blows over and we get back to some semblance of normal um, we'll get back out into the wild and start having some adventures that we all love and miss so dearly okay guys and girls and everybody else take care miss you all see you soon